Happy Mother's Day. Happy Homestead Mother's Day to all of those watching. It's Mother's Day in mid-May. And look what's back. It's a Suburban. Yay! <laughs> the Bunny Mobile is back. So everything got fixed up. Uh, took a couple extra days on that to get it all right. Someone had been in the transmission prior to us buying the vehicle. And they kind of messed a bunch of stuff up. So it's all fixed. It's in good shape. Bunnies, did he say bunnies? <laughs> so the bunny mobile is back and we took it to uh, our last show of the spring season yesterday. It was a local show here in Klamath Falls and uh, we'll let you know how we did in our shows. Okay, so we've already shown our Harlequins and our Americans in show A. We were waiting to go up for best in show. Um, this is Three Seeders Berserker, one of our Japanese Harlequin bucks, and he actually took best of breed, so he's going to go up for best in show later. Um, we also have um, SRRP Stars in My Eyes, who took best opposite of breed. She's our little magpie doe. And we got uh, best of breed and best opposite of breed with two of our Americans. So we do have one more show later today, but we're just waiting on show A's best in show, and we'll see how we do. Well, we didn't win best in show for show A. Uh, it did go to a really nice Rex buck. Um, but for show B, best of breed and best opposite of breed, at least with our Americans. We also got a best of breed with um, the same little Japanese buck I talked about earlier. Um, so for the weekend, we ended up with, uh, let's see, four best of breeds and a best opposite, uh, three best opposite of breeds. Ugh, I got tongue tied there. So recently, I guess this week, I checked our batteries, which was about time, around the 45 day range. So I will put a link up top if you wanna see how to check our solar batteries, which are just a water-based lead uh, acid. So no big deal there, but if you wanna check it out, that was done. And probably the next couple of weeks, we will be adjusting our panels for the summer setting. So these are now on the angled lower setting for winter and we'll be putting them more flat for the summer as the uh, path of the sun changes to maximize our intake on solar. So in a garden here in the last few weeks, I got the um, garlic bed uncovered. This is the first year I've got a real heavy moss that grew on top of it. It was actually causing the garlic that I planted last fall to not come up, it couldn't penetrate. So we got it off and as you can see, the garlic is going crazy. I planted a few more cloves that are just now starting to go up, come up, and then I got this other bed, kind of the same thing, um, but it's got onions planted in it. So those are all starting to come up. I've got rhubarb going crazy, we've got potatoes in already, and I'll be actually harvesting some rhubarb to make a uh, strawberry rhubarb shortcake for Mother's Day today since my mom's coming over um, for a little dinner around 4 o'clock. So one of the worst things about having barns and animals and that is that spring clean and comes up so you can see behind the massive hay pile so this is just kind of cast off from the winter bailing yes i'm filming here and so plenty of hay there and that is uh the crappiest work you're going to find on the farm probably so in the next two weeks we're going to be moving all of our lady goats as you can see here that have been in with the buck all season uh, they're going back over to the girls' barn because we have babies expected after June 1st. And we're also going to be taking our little weanlings from last year and putting them into the herd. So look for that in our next update video. So that's what's going on with Sprague River Homestead this week. And next week will be... I don't know what we're doing next week. It's going to be a surprise off the cuff. So birds are on full-scale production. We're getting roughly 16 to 18 eggs a day between all of our chickens, turkeys, and we've let the geese set because we are out of goslings for this year, and we're moving on to full-scale into the turkeys. So that's it for this time on Sprague River Homestead. And speaking of turkeys, we're going to be making a homestead turkey that we raised and butcher ourselves since we do raise our poultry. So we'd love to hear what you guys are doing on Mother's Day on your homestead. And if you have any good recipes to share, we'd love to try them. We'll see you next time.